Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about something really dramatic. How I live with meat eaters. Now, before you dislike this video, I just want you to know that was 100% a joke and please hear me out. So I've actually gotten a surprising number of comments on my YouTube channel, questions on Tumblr or on Instagram about how I deal with people eating meat around me. And in reality, I've never really given it too much thought. So a little bit of background and context for you guys. I was raised vegetarian, but I went to school with other kids who ate meat. So I always still sort of grew up around people eating meat, but I just acknowledged the fact that they ate meat and I didn't. And we were different in that way, but I was generally okay with that. Also at this time, I didn't really understand the cruelty of the meat and dairy industry. And I just sort of saw meat as a food that I didn't eat. So I grew up around kids eating meat at like school lunches, birthday parties, or just hanging out with my friends in general. And then in college, when I moved off campus into an apartment with other girls, I lived with two other girls who were not vegetarians or vegans. And now that I'm here in graduate school, I live with another girl who I really like. And again, she is not a vegetarian or a vegan. So the big question that I feel like most people have is, do I think less of these people because they eat meat? And absolutely not. I think there's a sort of vegan stereotype that vegans automatically hate people who eat meat and think that they're super high and mighty and better than everyone else because only plants shall touch my holy temple. But in reality, this is not the case. And although there are a few slightly obnoxious vegans that exist on the internet who preach this mentality, every vegan who I've met in real life has never been that uptight. However, before I continue, I just want to clarify that I'm not trying to negate the fact that the meat and dairy industries are absolutely cruel and unnecessary and I am 100% against them. But at the same time, when you're living with other people, I think it's important to think realistically. First of all, thinking practically, you may not always find another vegan or vegetarian in your area who you would want to live with. And you could try to live by yourself, but if you're in a budgeted sort of situation like me, sometimes it's not practical to live by yourself either. Just like society is full of meat eaters, sometimes your housemates are going to eat meat as well, and it's just a fact of life. Secondly, which I also think is just equally important, is that you have to remember that even though you are a vegan and you believe in veganism, you have to live with these people. And no one, I repeat, no one wants to live with someone who is constantly putting them down, shoving their opinions down their throat, and telling them that the food on their plate contains chicken periods or cow pus. Although those facts may be true, there are way more polite ways to say it. While I don't necessarily agree with the fact that my roommates eat meat and dairy, I don't think the abrasive approach of veganism is really appropriate here. Even in general, I think that being a kind, welcoming, and compassionate vegan to other people in real life is a lot more important. So for example, I'm not going to throw fit if my non-vegan roommate ever decided to cook some chicken, but however, if they did have some questions about the vegan lifestyle or were curious about my diet, I would be more than willing to have an open, welcoming, and friendly conversation with them about it. Also, I have seen some YouTube videos online and some vegans online talking about how they would never want meat, dairy, or eggs to touch their kitchen equipment. I remember before I even went vegan, I saw this video online of a guy being like, I don't want that nasty cow titty juice and that hen period on my food. And like, seriously, do you really think that that attitude is going to convert people to veganism? Now, personally, I don't mind sharing my pots and pans with my roommates because like most normal human beings, they know how to do the dishes and they know how to use dish soap and how to thoroughly clean it after they are done. So realistically speaking, the probability of you having meat, dairy, or egg particles in your pot afterwards is very, very minimal. I will, however, say that I prefer that my roommates not use my wooden cutting boards or wooden utensils when they're cooking with meat or if, especially if they're cutting raw meat on the cutting board because personally for me, I just feel like wood is a little less dense and it is more possible for like the juices of the meat to seep into that utensil and I guess that sort of raises the probability of having meat cross-contamination in my food. However, if this does really bother you and you don't want to share your utensils, you are more than welcome to purchase your own utensils and kitchen supplies and just kindly explain to your roommates that because of your diet, you don't want to have meat, dairy, or eggs touching your food and they should totally respect your decision. So long story short, in an ideal world, would I like to only live with other vegans? 
Yes, absolutely, that would be so awesome. However, it's really not practical for me at this point in time, and I'm also really okay with my roommates that I've had in the past, and the people who I live with now. I like them all as people, and we get along great. Also, you could totally put a positive spin on this situation and view living with non-vegans as an opportunity for advocacy and educating other people that you might not normally come in contact with about the vegan lifestyle. And that's all that I really have to say on the topic, but I am curious to hear your comments, so be sure to comment below and let me know what you would do in this situation and how you you survive with people who eat meat and thank you all for watching this a little bit sassier than normal video but I still hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I will talk to you later bye